What's up, Mushroom Fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. And today I wanted to show you guys how to isolate a single spore from a spore print. So there's a, a few different ways to do this. If you haven't seen my previous video on serial dilutions, go check that out. That way is more physical and it requires more materials than the way that I'm about to show you. But in mycology, it's important to be able to separate out single spores because if you want to do any breeding, then you have to have a monocarion or a haploid culture, which each spore contains half the genetics that is required to produce a full fruiting mycelium. So one spore will germinate and then the other spore will germinate and those two hyphae will fuse together to form a full organism that will produce mushrooms. So I have an old tincture bottle here and a math torch. And the idea is that I'm going to create a capillary tube that is about 20 microns thick so that I can single-handedly select one spore from this spore print so that I can do my research. A few different things that I wanted to point out. It's helpful to use these concave slides for this procedure and make sure that you're using it at the, the right concave so that when I pull my spores off my spore print, they'll be in solution. And then that way I'll be able to take my pipette and pull one single spore. Now you can use the stereoscope but right now I only have it at about 30 times magnification, but I'm going to use my compound microscope and I'm gonna set it at about 100X. And that way I'll get a good visual on a single spore and hopefully they don't clump. And then I'll remove that spore and place it on this single slide here to do my research. So be careful if you're using a map torch. Uh, they can, you know, be a fire hazard. But basically, I'm just going to heat up this glass pipette. To where that tip gets red hot. And then I'm carefully going to use these pliers and try to work it into a long capillary tube. Okay, so I have my pipette tip narrowed down. Um, hopefully that's a 20 microns, but it's pretty blunt. Usually I like it a little bit longer. You can also buy capillary tubes, but this is just what I had on hand. So the next step is going to be transferring the spores from the spore print onto a glass slide and once again I like to use the concave slides for this part so I'll go ahead and take some sterile water and just kind of agitate some of these spores off the spore print okay, so I'm just gonna agitate some of these spores off the print here and then I like to use this plastic pipetter to kind of just brush some of these off and I'm trying to create a nice dilution that will go onto this concave slide
Okay, so I have my slide with the spores prepared now. So I'm going to place this on the microscope and I have my, my flat glass slide off to the side so that I can transfer that single spore. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use the microscope camera to focus in on a cluster of spores. So I'll switch over to the camera view. All right, so I'm opening up my camera and you can see these spores starting to come into focus and it's a little bit wobbly, but I can work with that. So normally when you have a glass slide on there or a cover slip, it will slow all that movement down. Okay, I'm gonna back it off a little bit. Let's see if we can get some of these spores in focus. Okay, so now we've got our tip exposed. And I'm going to try to center that pipette tip and then try to get that And you can see there's a little cluster of spores there. So I'll just aspirate those out. All right, so I've got about 0.2 mils and I'm just gonna drop it out on my slide. And that is one form of a dilution is we're really carefully selecting for spores from the concave. And now I'm gonna view it And there you can see the single spore surrounded by a complete empty field of view. And this is really helpful if you would be able to watch this germinate or you can place it into a Petri dish and then that would be a verified single haploid isolate. Now, a few things about using these glass pipettes is, um, if when you're pulling that, that glass out to thin it, sometimes it will pinch. So you can use the pliers, um, the little cutting edge, and then snip that end. And then that way you'll be able to move liquids in and out easier. You can also use a loop, but I prefer the pipettes because the tip, you can really narrow it down where the loop, you can get a one micron, but oftentimes it will scrape that spore and it could potentially lyse that cell. So it's always better to use a pipette. They do make longer capillary pipettes, but once again, this is all I had on hand. I hope you enjoyed that video on microscopy. Subscribe if you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps spread the word. If you're looking for mushroom cultures, check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi. 
And until next time, much love.